Hi, I'm Blake Corder, CTO of Entopology. Over my past 25 years in the CAD industry, I've taken products to market for PTC, SpaceClaim, GrabCAD, and Stratasys. Today, I couldn't be any more pleased than to introduce to you the people and ideas behind what we're doing at Entopology. Three years ago, we set out to create a new approach to mechanic design and engineering, where knowledge and analysis directly generates highly functional designs. Forged from the unprecedented demands, complexity, and sophistication of advanced manufacturing, Entopology provides a new approach to engineering where geometry is the output of the process, and the only inputs are knowledge, requirements, and simulation data. Our engineering notebooks package technical and process knowledge into repeatable application workflows that are optimized to meet engineering performance requirements. We create these workflows using the natural language of engineering, fields. Fields unify physical and environmental data, simulation and topology optimization, and isotropic manufacturing processes, and all flavors of geometry. With all these disciplines of engineering in one environment, and topology enables unprecedented innovation. To scale to the levels of complexity challenging our industry today, we have introduced the most advanced geometry kernel in the history of our industry. Based on implicit modeling, its unbreakable nature provides orders of magnitude more reliability over B-reps and meshes, enabling mechanical design, applications otherwise considered impossible, unlocking business value, improving governance, and mitigating risk. Today, you'll meet some of the technical team at End Topology so you can learn about our work firsthand. My mission at NTOP is to offer a network of support for all of the challenges that our customers face and get the right solutions to them as quickly as possible. We're thrilled to be featuring our customer, Cobra Arrow, throughout our presentation today. Their A33N, with advanced lightweighting and anthropology, creates a new performance class for unmanned aircrafts. The Cobra A33N is a purpose-designed and developed UAS powertrain solution built to meet all the stringent performance, efficiency, weight, and sound requirements of today's unmanned aerial platforms. The Cobra A33N features a cylinder manufactured via direct metal laser sintering. This provides several benefits, including extremely low part-to-part -part variability, geometries that cannot be achieved through casting, and improved material properties. We've been able to work with Cobra Aero throughout the design process to help them tackle challenges and use Antop to its full potential. I lead the software engineering team at Entopology. We're headquartered in New York City, we have remote workers around the world, and we have clusters in Massachusetts and in Germany. We value individual responsibility and empowering others to deliver customer value. My mission at Entopology is to build the most advanced engineering software in the world. Our team does this by harnessing diverse expertise in geometric modeling, computational mechanics, advanced manufacturing, and computer science to enable the world's most sophisticated engineering applications. Next, a few members of our team will tell you about how their expertise and their recent work enables customers like Cobra Aero to solve their hardest engineering problems. Hi, I'm Christian. With a background in structural optimization research, I joined Entropology with a mission to push the boundaries of technology in simulation-driven design. The first generation of topology optimization technology, most of what is commercially available today, has inspired many engineers. However, we still have many challenging problems that need to be addressed to fully unlock its true potential. To advance these barriers, we have built a next-generation optimization framework with automatic post-processing, which enable our users to optimize their designs for increasingly complex problems and geometric domains, while minimizing the amount of manual work they have to do. So for parts like the Cobra Arrows bracket mounts, where fatigue and weight are of main concerns, this technology has really made a big difference. Secondly, we have lattices, and Intervology has provided best-in-class lattice generation tools from its earliest days. Our customers continue to challenge us with the amount of control they need over their lattice generation tools. So for example, generating warp lattices that conform to complex parts without excessively distorting the unit cells used to be a big challenge. Now, the difficulty here is that you have to work with the lattice in both its warped and nominal state in order to preserve critical properties like beam thickness and wall thickness. Our third generation lattice pipeline solves this problem and gives full control over warping and automatically takes into account all the coordinate transformations and field regularizations completely automatically. So, in addition to this, we have also introduced a parameterized unit cell concept that allow our users to seamlessly modulate the lattice geometry throughout space using field-driven design techniques. 
This yields full control over the local material properties of the lattice, thereby making it easier than ever to optimize for mechanical performance. Our stochastic lattices such as the Bornoi foam have also been enhanced, and now they contain much more intelligence about the engineering properties. One of the most amazing properties about Intervaldi is how easy it is to synthesize complex geometry with our implicit geometry kernel. Earlier this year, there was a brilliant paper published in Nature by Kumar et al, revealing this elegant parameterization to create these spinoidal structures. So in Entopology, we could reproduce these results of the paper in just a few hours without any programming, ultimately giving the user the ability to create these fascinating structures with full control over anisotropy and relative density. I joined Entopology a bit over a year ago, after almost five years at NVIDIA. I've been using implicit geometry for more than a decade in personal projects, making real-time computer art as a serious hobby. My mission is to make Anthropology as fast and responsive as possible. Anthropology has been relying on the CPU for its computational needs. However, its underlying geometry representation is extremely suitable for acceleration on GPUs. We've been working behind the scenes for a year to take advantage of the GPU without sacrificing any of the existing benefits that the CPU provides. Our goal is to give rich visual feedback as quickly as possible. Even with inexpensive GPUs, the visualization of typical parts that previously took minutes is now done in seconds. Many parts that used to take seconds are now essentially on screen instantly. More importantly, real-time feedback for interactions with the part is what allows not only hugely faster iteration times, but also helps build intuition and understanding, allows playful exploration of the design space, and in the end leads to more creative freedom. We are now making a huge step in that direction. After completing my PhD in geometry processing with pioneers in the field of CAD, I developed several award-winning innovations in geometry processing technology and applications at Siemens. My mission is to enable the design of shapes and structures that can leverage extreme complexity enabled by new materials and manufacturing processes and to maximize compatibility with CAD, CAM, and CA tools. In order to realize physical objects designed using end topology, we have developed a variety of interoperability features linking data generated in end topology with external design and manufacturing systems. In particular, we have spent the last two years honing algorithms that make it as easy as possible to produce efficient meshes from detailed implicit geometry. Going a step further, we have also implemented a solution to generate precise BREP geometry, creating the link back to BREP based design systems. Complex geometry such as lattices and implicits with high detail pose a challenge to BREP based design systems. We are developing novel solutions to take such complex geometry designed in end topology back to design systems while avoiding the limitations of BREPs. Our interoperability solutions also extend to simulation systems such as NASTRAN, Abacus, and ANSYS. Whenever possible, we encourage customers to directly manufacture from end topology through a variety of slice, point, and image-based formats. We are committed to enabling seamless interoperability with the rest of the PLM ecosystem and base our interoperability on best-in-class components from Siemens, Dassault Systems, and Techsoft. When I came to Anthropology, we were less than 10 people, and we had the luxury of being able to build the software from the ground up. With no legacy in our way, we were able to use the most cutting edge software development practices and technologies. My mission is to continue to build and sustain the architecture that will enable us to build software that is fast, powerful, and responsive. While it works and acts like an engineering tool, and topology is actually built on top of a programming language that is optimized for engineering design. It compiles your part into blocks or functions that are reusable and uses parallel algorithms to build your part. That means that while multiple CPUs are building your model, you are free to roam the scene, edit, and do seamlessly. Every one of the blocks in our system 
is tested extensively by our amazing team of QA engineers. And because each block is just an algorithm with no side effects, that means that we can automate our testing at scale and guarantee that our blocks will always return the same results. As new blocks come into the fold, a modern versioning system and backwards compatibility protocols ensure that upgrading to newer algorithms is always opt-in and that your part will never stop working. I joined Entopology to make advanced design techniques more intuitive, tactile, and approachable. Coming from a background in architecture and industrial design, I've always had a passion for transforming technology into enjoyable tools for creation, learning, and sharing. My mission at Entop is to leverage emerging technologies to empower creative thinkers and problem solvers to work at the speed of ideas. With Entopology Notebooks, we're doing just that. We decided to combine the familiarity and ease of use of a CAD feature tree with the clarity of a knowledge sharing ecosystem presenting bleeding edge concepts like implicit modeling within simple block UI elements. These elements can be documented, grouped, commented, and organized to tell the full story of a workflow or discovery. For users who are working with complex data flows, the notebook is designed for experimentation, data capture, and documenting knowledge. For those just getting started with Entopology, the notebook is designed for teaching and learning workflows, which can be used both to design simple parts and to address the most sophisticated modeling problems in our industry. At Entopology, it's my mission to ensure our product is continuously delivering value to our customers. A little background, I started my career designing airframes as a structural engineer and then later built open source tools for NASA to improve on that process. There are two aspects of the traditional design through manufacture process that I'd like to frame early in this discussion. First is that considering that part and product knowledge generally flows from concept design through manufacturing or from left to right on the simplified schematic. If information from the right side of this diagram, think of that as maybe the shop floor. If that information flows upstream, it's typically in the form of something like a change order, and typically that may lead to undesirable delays or, or costly design changes. Second is that it's relatively common practice today to develop specialized applications, usually programmed straight into the CAD application itself. While these are one form of what we can call traditional generative technology, they are usually locked into the CAD system and only really output features for that specific process. With those aspects in mind, we believe this is where new generative design technologies have their greatest potential. Generative design enhances the traditional design processes in at least two places. One, upstream of CAD and CAE, it helps discover new concepts, sometimes using techniques like topology optimization. And two, downstream of CAD and CAE, where new approaches like field-driven design can synthesize and even further accelerate design and manufacturing workflows. And in topology, we believe the key to creating this new generative economic value, if you will, is by empowering generative design with knowledge. So this knowledge can be in the form of material data, process data, engineering design rules and best practices. The more knowledge that can be captured in these generative processes, the more effective they become. Process knowledge may originate close to the manufacturing experts, and then application workflows can build on that knowledge, resulting in application level features for things like lightweighting or architecting materials. And then those workflows can then be applied to parts in a repeatable way. So the final part's behavior is completely engineered and predictable. Therefore, we generally find two main types of users of Entopology. Entopology authors are experts who embed this knowledge into reusable workflows, and then Entopology designers who then leverage these workflows along with their own expertise and ideas to produce new innovative designs. So to summarize, authors are creating a new kind of value, which then empowers designers to create new kinds of parts. I've been with Anthropology for about uh, a year and a half now. Before that, I worked for a big time CAD company for 40 years, mostly developing geometric modeling technology and helping people use it in their product development processes. Uh, part of my job at Anthropology is to help us figure out how we should fit into those product development processes. And of course, data interoperability is a big part of this. Suraj has told you a bit about our current interoperability solutions, but I'm going to tell you about a new approach based on some things that we call code reps that we've been thinking about lately. 
Code reps are a way of exchanging implicit models between two systems. What's so good about code reps? Well, quite a lot of things, actually. So uh, uh, first of all, they're, they're very small. They're uh, often uh, smaller than typical meshes by a, a factor of a, of a thousand or so. Secondly, they're, they're precise. They're a precise representation of the original implicit shape. They're not an approximation as you would get with, with meshes or voxels. They're portable. Um, it's it's just it's very simple code, and you can run it pretty much anywhere. In fact, we run code reps on GPUs. Uh, one really interesting thing is that it's probably possible to run code reps on on, on printers. They're unambiguous. It's just simple math statements, and everybody has a common understanding of, of what these mean. There's, there's no ambiguity. And lastly, they're intelligent in the sense that they contain enough information to support parametric editing in the receiving system. So what you get in the receiving system is much more than the, than the dumb solid that you normally get from a, from a data transfer. This first prototype shows transfer of code reps from NTOP into the NX CAD system. Um, as you can see, the, the object that gets created in NX supports parametric editing. It's not just a dumb solid. This next one shows transfer of a code rep from NTOP into the intact simulation software. Uh, the intact software then calls the code rep function to prepare the data that's needed for a finite element analysis. In this particular case, we're doing a thermal analysis using the MFEM solver. The interesting thing about this workflow is, is that the whole thing happens without ever producing a, a traditional mesh. The last example here shows a code rep based connection between NTOP and a viewer from a company called Zia. Actually, what we're doing here is much more than just viewing. We've actually added some sliders to the Zia viewer user interface so that we can do parametric editing. And we have a pretty fast display algorithm that works directly off of the code rep. So a, lo a lot of the edits can actually happen in, in close to real time. That's a brief introduction to code reps. Um, we think it looks promising. Um, there's a patent pending, but we have no intention of restricting access, access to the idea. Um, quite the contrary, actually, we'd like it to eventually become part of some standard like, like 3MF or, or STEP, perhaps. Um, if, if this looks interesting to you, uh, please get in touch with us and let's talk about uh, where this all might go. We've enjoyed this opportunity to show you how implicit modeling and field-driven design, packaged in reusable workflows, empowers customers like Cobra Arrow to create breakthrough products. We hope you've enjoyed a behind-the-scenes tour of how we are creating the future of engineering software and how Entopology 3.0 sets a new standard in mechanical design. We also hope you've enjoyed a glimpse of the future of our industry, where customers are finally in control of their product intellectual property. We're thrilled to have launched Entopology 3.0 and look forward to working with you to build this future together. To try out our preview experience or to apply for a job, please visit entopology.com.